Hello, my name is Brian Lawfer, and I'm the Vice President here at QuoteWorks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use services in QuoteWorks with ConnectWise opportunities. Each organization is different, and will have different best practices when it comes to the way services are transferred from QuoteWorks to ConnectWise. Services can be transferred to the ConnectWise opportunity as just a service forecast, or as a product with a service product class. We will review services as a product on the opportunity because within ConnectWise, these services can then be used on service tickets, projects, sales orders, and more. So let's start off by creating a brand new service product within ConnectWise. So what I'm going to do is go under Setup, and then we'll go under our products here. And we'll click on New. And let's start off by creating a fixed fee product. So we'll just, or service, I should say. So we'll just say fixed fee service. Uh, description, um, for our purposes here, we'll do the same. And we'll go ahead and select service. Product type, now this is going to be very key when it comes to uh, when QuoteWorks is bringing this into the quote. Um, we're going to set this as service. And then product class. Now watch what happens when I select product class here of service. Our price attribute now is appears and we have the option for fixed fee not to exceed as well as time and materials. Um, the ConnectWise University has some great videos as far as what these do within ConnectWise. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is just select a fixed fee service and we'll go ahead and save and close. Alright, so now we've got that new product here. So if I do a search for fixed, there's our fixed fee service. Actually, I neglected to set a price, so we'll set a price of 150 an hour, maybe a unit cost of 40 there. Save and close. Alright, so now that's all done. So let's see what we need to do on the quote work side to set that up. So what we want to be able to do is bring in that service item from ConnectWise because we don't want that duplicate entry um, into the quote and quote works and still go over as a product as a service as well as a service. So what we'll do is go to contacts and set up contact manager. Obviously we're going to select ConnectWise and we're going to make the assumption that you've already set up the integration. We're going to go ahead and go under ConnectWise setup here. And this first screen actually doesn't mean it, it mean anything for what we, we need to do right now. So what we're going to do is go under forecast lines and we're going to go to map forecast type. Now, there's some things in here that you know are uh, you know have are already set up for you know the Qu QuoteWorks item type. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to map the QuoteWorks item type of service to a product. Now, uh, the reason we're going to do that is because we are going to be technically using a product that's a service in ConnectWise. So again, service is mapped to product. We'll click on OK. Then we'll go under products here. Um, on the QuoteWorks side as well, if we're creating those product services, we're going to need to map those as well. So we'll do to map product uh, map <laughs> product types here. And what we're going to do is map service to service. Okay. Under product classes, we're going to map service again to service. Categories and subcategories, we're going to map service to service. Um, now you could create additional item types within QuoteWorks to get a little bit, little bit more granular because you may want to have service uh, block time as well so you can ma map that down to the block time. Uh, but for right now uh, we're just doing fixed fee service. And then the last thing you need to do under the product data source here um, we're going to go to map item types and we're going to map a service item type to a QuoteWorks item type of service. Okay. Pretty straightforward there. Click on OK and OK. So now let's go ahead and bring in that service item from ConnectWise. So now what we can do is click on products. ConnectWise here. Let's bring in our fixed fee. Three of those. Append that to our quote. Let's bring in a contact. Uh, let's go to Thor here. And now what we can do is go ahead and save. We'll just call it fixed fee service. And we're just going to create the opportunity. Um, obviously, we have the ability to create the link document, some other activities, um, as well as service tickets as well. But we're just going to create this simple opportunity here 
with this fixed fee service. Um, and we could link to an existing opportunity if we wanted to. I'm just going to create a brand new one here, training, and click on save. So it's updating the product in ConnectWise, and it's done. So what we'll do is go back over to ConnectWise now, go over to Contacts. I've already got Thor up here. Um, and here's our fixed fee service. Go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, we've got our service here. And if we go over to products, here's our fixed fee service. So it's that simple. So now, you know, if we were to win this opportunity, this service can get transferred over to the project, to the service ticket, or to the sales order. So I hope this uh, clears some things up for you. Um, we do have a uh, uh, some blueprints on our website that goes through this as well, so you can have a step-by-step -step guide. Um, and, but if you have questions on this, you can definitely give our support a call, 407-248-1481. Uh, Again, 407-248-1481, or just support at quiltworks.com.